What up? Just a quick little reminder that I have a vlog channel in case you didn't know. I'm gonna have the link down below and you can follow along on all of my Tokyo adventures. Hey guys, what's up? If you haven't been following me on Instagram, the vlogs, whatever, which if you aren't, you really freaking should. I'm currently here in Tokyo, which I'm so excited for. And I figured while I'm here in Tokyo, which is like one of the most fashionable cities in the entire world, I figured I should do some thrifting because they have some epic vintage stores and thrift stores here. And I literally have not been thrifting since I was in like middle school. And obviously it's super trending now. Um, so I figured while I'm here, I might as well see what I can find and see if there's any good stuff and just kind of show you guys my experience doing it. Thumbs up this video if you want more thrifting videos with me. We're just gonna go to many sources I think we can try to go to. Pop in them, see what we can find. I found this place. <laughs> I found this place. <laughs> I'm excited, let's do it. We just found this place, so we're gonna go in, see if we find anything. Okay, I don't really have much of a tactic. That's kind of cute. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Is it top? The top one? Have a million denim jackets, but denim jackets are the best thing to get. Honestly, a flannel. I kind of regretted not getting a flannel at the last place. American Idol. What's his name? Right. What's his name? What was his name? He was balding. Dave, David? I feel like Loki, like a dad. Like this could kind of be cute. Like, do we want to be Daniel or Aaron? <laughs> We're back from Japan. So this experience was so just not what I expected for many different reasons. Number one, everything, I went to a total of, I wanna say four different thrift stores. Actually more than that. We went to like one, two, three, I think I went to six. Every single place, and maybe I just went to like the wrong ones. That could totally be it. Every single place had like everything American. Everything I bought, literally, I probably could have got here, but I felt like it was still fun to like shop in Tokyo. I don't know. I think I got ripped off <laughs> because everything was expensive. I was not expecting that because like thrifting, you expect things to be cheap. And then I get up to the counter and I was like, wait, how much is this? Um, so rookie mistake. But I actually do really like everything that I got. I wanted to make sure I got a lot of stuff that I would genuinely wear, and I think I did a good job with that. Also, I didn't get that much, but I like everything that I got. Hopefully with a few like DIYing skills, we can make things even more cute. This is crazy, I'm not kidding. I used to thrift all the time when I was younger. Every single college in the country here, you could find in the thrift stores at Tokyo, like sweatshirts, t-shirts, everything. Oh, Rem, you're gonna die. You're, you're gonna say it's easier. <laughs> say it's easier. So, first thing that I got, I think I'm most excited for this because it's just so big and baggy, but it's just this Penn State um, sweatshirt and it's just super baggy. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to style every single outfit so you guys can see how I would legit wear it. So. <laughs> Or would you wear that too? I would wear this literally anywhere. It's also like all distressed here, which I thought was cool. And this is just something that I can tell I'll wear a lot. And I love how just like big and baggy it is. Dope champion, oversized men's sweatshirt. I'm just so shocked I found this in Tokyo. <laughs> like you're forgetting that. I keep forgetting. So yeah, no, I totally would pair this with like boots like this or something. I think that'd be like super cute. <laughs> or just carry them around. <laughs> or just, or literally just, I mean like literally right now I'm wearing my slippers. <laughs> We got that. Boom. Okay, the next thing that I got, I honestly pictured this. Like, I think once I cut it. Oh, I love the back. Isn't it cute? It's this Ralph Lauren, like, rugby polo. I love the stripes. It's very, like, vintage feeling. Like, even the patch is kind of just, like, worn looking. And even the back has this huge, like, eight on it. And the material is so thick and nice. Okay, so normally I, like, would not wear this. But I feel like if I cut it and crop it, it'll be really, really cute. Oh no. So, I got really excited when I saw this because it was a men's extra small and then I tried it on and now it's like too tight and I'm like, oh yeah, it's a men's extra small. Not my favorite, but I feel like I was bound to not like something. The only other thing I could think of is I think maybe this is like short sleeves would be cuter because it's just kind of like tight in the arms. Thoughts, should I cut more? Hmm. I just feel like a blue Where's Waldo. So, hoping it looks good cut. <laughs> but, well, okay, let me try cutting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Good call on the sleeves. I feel like I can breathe. I can move freely. It's great. I would totally wear this now. I feel like it just definitely needed something way more high-waisted and then the sleeves were just like a no for me, but now I like just like the little bit. I feel like it's cute. I feel like I would count this like a good vintage find. Everything else I feel like you could probably find somewhere else, you know what I mean? But this is, oh, where'd you get that? And I'm like, this thrift store in Japan. <laughs> but I think it could be really cute, especially with some like glasses, you know what I mean? I love that. Oh, okay. No. Insta baddie. No. You no, don't I like. like. You don't like. No, I like. No, you don't. <laughs> I do. Other glasses, I can get other glasses. No, I like them. <laughs> no, you can tell by like a person's reaction. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm jet lagged. Ugh. <laughs> I feel like this was a good thrift find, especially because it feels vintagey. It's like Ralph Lauren. It's like nice material. We got that. Okay, next, I literally got this like huge dad t-shirt. This is like worn in. You're thinking like, Alicia, that's so hideous and ugly. No, I'm gonna make this so cute. Like I pictured this just being open. It's just two seconds, guys. Give me two seconds. I am purposely trying to style these so you guys can like see how I would actually wear it. Cause I feel like people see like a 2XL dad shirt and they're like, <laughs> What? But like when you put it together with like the accessories and everything, I feel like it looks really good. Or you guys are still like, ew, but yo, I like this, so it's all that matters. <laughs> the dad shirt, big and baggy like this, like, hold on. You could even tie it too and have it kind of like tied off the shoulder. It's just big and open with like a crop top or a bralette with high-waisted denim shorts. I hope you guys see the effort of styling I'm putting in right now. Cute sunglasses in a bag, crossbody bag maybe, also with some boots or something, like. Wow, this just went off. <laughs> Go off. You could also just steal your dad shirt. Dad shirt who? You could steal your boyfriend shirt. Or, oh, also we could belt it. You could steal your ex-boyfriend shirt. Next I found this black bomber and I actually really like this. Like I was going through the rack and then I found it and I was like, hold up. This. Oh, I love ASMR. <laughs> this was Eric Matlock's. <laughs> Thanks Eric. There's literally a name on it. Thanks Eric. I love this. I feel like because it's worn in, like this is what I want anytime I'm looking for a bomber jacket. Like something that's just like comfy and whatever and it looks like it's been like well worn and used. I just paired it with biker shorts and this like neon bikini and I feel like this is, oh, like I would totally wear this. I think this is super cute. It's really thin which I feel like is perfect especially for California because it's, the weather's always confused. Like is it hot or is it cold? So I really think that this is super nice. Also like the collar detail of like the snaps and stuff, it kind of just made it stand out more. I really had to dig to find one that I liked and it wasn't until I saw the neck detail with like the snaps really dig through every single piece because even if you see 10 black bomber jackets like every single one is different all the other bombers were that satiny material that I was not into Avent is by Aventura I have no idea also has a pocket on the inside dope there's no holes in it obviously you can just wear it my neck and stuff too but yeah no this fits perfect and also think about how you're gonna style it when you're looking through the racks because that helped me a lot when shopping. Thank you, Eric. Okay, the next thing that I got, please don't, like, literally, no. <laughs> don't judge me. Remy and TK were like, you have to get this. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Honestly, hell yeah. yeah. I used to have the biggest crush on Taylor Lautner. This is a Twilight t-shirt. I was that person who was like team Edward in the books, team Jacob in the movies. I, I think I'm gonna crop this into like just <laughs> Taylor's face. Like just right there. He can be on my right boob. Like just <laughs> right where he belongs. Right where he belongs. <laughs> I cut it just a little bit and I love the length of it. I feel like it's perfect because you see like the tiniest bit of skin but it's not like a crop 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 top. Well I tried to roll the sleeves but they kind of fell so. <laughs> One second. <laughs> this is iconic. That's my favorite thing you got, to be honest. This is my favorite thing I got. And this is just pr a prime example that you can honestly make anything look good if you just make it look like you are purposely wearing it. Cute, right? Also, comment below if you were Team Edward or Team Jacob because genuinely curious. Iconic shirt, we were twi hard, it was amazing. Okay, next thing. I found this huge, what is this called? It's literally what my dad wears when he goes golfing. Love that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I also freaking love this. It's like a windbreaker, but it's not a zipper. So it's just this like, I don't know, but it's just like a 2XL, like huge freaking thing. So comp, so nice. Also, it would not be a completed look without my So Extra Hat Shop Alicia Marie link down below to buy your So Extra Hat. Yeah, shop it. Good job. <laughs> do I get a raise for that? I, I paid her to do that. <laughs> 
no for real like I actually really love this outfit I also love just like the biker shorts underneath and then this bag with it too like I feel like this I don't know I just really like it I feel like it's a really easy outfit to kind of throw on I would wear this to the grocery store I feel like this is just gonna be so comfy especially now that it's starting to get colder I would wear this to Disneyland and I feel like this can be really cute with like biker shorts I would wear this to the club I wouldn't wear it to the club I don't know it's a good like out and about like I don't really care how I look however I actually still put a lot of time and effort into my outfit kind of vibe love this we'll see how it looks on I didn't try any of this on so I'm really I love that, that one it. too that it works <laughs> this is honestly everything that I got from the thrift stores I told you I didn't even get that much but I did buy two more things these are not thrift related can I do that even though this is a thrift haul I have no idea but I'm gonna show you anyway this I got <laughs> I got two things. I found this bag and I was obsessed with it. Um, this is the other bag that I got. I love the whole clear trend. It it's was like the Nana. store Unfollow. Let me put some stuff in it. It's Nana. It's Nana, on. Nana, Nana, Nana. We all just found these purses and this is so freaking cute and I kind of really love the white one. Actually, this looks really cute oh, this. Do we like it better? It's just a long crossbody. Super cute, you can show everyone everything you carry. You're doing great. <laughs> You look like a mom. It's perfect for concerts and um, sporting events when you can't bring oh in a bag. Oh my god, when you can do a clear yeah. one. I like really am obsessed with this. They had so many different bags. And then the last thing that I got, I have honestly been wanting something like this for so freaking long. And I wore it when I was in Japan. It's this Y3 fanny pack. But not only is it a dope fanny pack, you can actually wear this thing like three different ways. So you can wear it like on your hips. You can wear it as a bag like this, right? But then it even comes with a strap. Oh, gee, no way. No, 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 no. You're not ready. You unzip this. Then it comes with a strap that you can wear it like this crossbody, so right? So cute. So cute. Then you can also wear this by itself oh as a belt. Isn't that cute? I know I was thrift shopping, but I saw this and I just like, I had to get it. And I genuinely have been wanting something like this for so long. And the fact that it's so versatile. Versatile? Versatile. Yeah. Versatile? Versatile. Say both. Say it fast and no one knows. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> that is my thrift haul. I hope that you enjoyed this. So like this video. If you want more thrift hauls, I'll definitely make sure that they're actually a good deal next time I go. Because I honestly, I forget how much I spent, but it was definitely not like cheap. Like I was like, I probably could have just gone to Urban Outfitters, but whatever. Again, rookie mistake. Also, I vlogged a ton while I was in Tokyo, so I'm gonna have all the vlogs, everything linked down below. Check it out. You can see the whole trip, a little more of the shopping stuff on that channel, so go watch it, go subscribe, eh? Um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys really soon with a new video. Okay, goodbye. Okay,